Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing great and all getting ready for Christmas. So on today's reading, we are going to check if the person on your mind is going to contact you or not. Okay, so I will try to keep this reading short as possible to give you a clear answer. So we will see what message is coming through and I will deliver everything for you guys. So. If you are enjoying the, these kind of readings that I am doing for you, you can subscribe to my channel and this way you can also say thank you and I really appreciate your support guys. So as usual we are going to have three different piles and I'm going to put the piles on the screen now so please make your selection with your intuition and I'm going to see you on your reading. By the way, if you want to get a personal reading, guys, you can find my email in the description box. So drop me an email and I will send you more details. Okay? Thank you. Hello Pile 1, welcome to your reading. So let's find out if the person on your mind is going to contact you soon or not. So this contact could be anything like maybe, you know, they're going to call you, text you, whatever they're going to do, we will find out. And as usual, this is a, well, sorry, this is a love related situation. So whoever you are thinking about can be your ex-partner, your current partner, your crush but there has to be some type of love and feelings involved okay so let's find out so can you please show me for pile one is there a person going to contact them we have the magician for pile one is there a person going to contact them we have the hierophant And we have the judgments, guys. Okay. So let's have some more cards. Let me get these deck, guys. One second. So can you please clarify these magicians? Are they going to contact pile one? We have death and the rebirth with magician again. That's very interesting, guys. Let's see. Can you please clarify the hierophant? We have the sun. And can you please clarify the judgment? We have four of wands. Okay, guys. So for this pile, the short answer to your um, question, I feel like it is yes. So I feel like this person is going to contact you. And for most of you guys, I feel like this is someone that you had a really long connection with. So maybe you are even living with this person or maybe you know this person for years because I'm seeing more like a marriage or fiancé or maybe like I said moving and living together because they are four of ones and the hierophant here and they all show that um, some type of commitment here okay and yeah I think this person is going to call you because I think this is something like I feel like this person tries to renew this connection in a way and he feels like you need to both need to start a new page with this death card he feels like the old ways that you have been coping with with this relationship should stay in the past and you should open a new page okay and this person could even come to you with a if you're not committed to this person this person i feel like even when he calls you he can tell you you know he wants to have commitment and stuff because we have the hierophant and the sun right and i feel like this for some of you guys this person even could be 
someone that maybe you kind of trying to divorce right now and this person is gonna call you and I feel like it's gonna be like you know let's try to work things out like yeah he's he's gonna call you so let's have some few more cards is there is there a person going to call them for pile one they your person are they going to call them yes we have growth so i think this person feels like your connection you know like you there, there are a lot of space for growth in your connection but you just need to um open a new page and not um keep doing the same things right but when i say this i feel like this person wants to kind of renew the connection but i think this person could also be a bit more traditional so maybe he still wants to um or okay we have love here so maybe he kind of loves some of his traditions that he doesn't want to give up but still he feels like you know your connection needs a bit of change if that makes sense and for some of you guys you might even have kid with this person but doesn't have to be and we have hunger okay so i feel like guys yeah this person is going to call you and he might even be telling you like I, 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 you know, I, I really love the connection that we had for a long time, and I want to renew that. I want. I'm. I feel so. You know, I'm hungry for that type of connection. I miss our connection. I want it back, right? I think you are gonna hear some stuff like this from this person. And I only want to get one card from this pile, guys. So if a pile one, is there a person going to call them? Oops. Yes, you guys, look at this card. We have lots of cards that shows commitment. So this person is going to call you and he's going to talk about commitments, right? It might even be like maybe this person can say I'm traditional and I want to renew this connection, but I also want to commit. I don't want this thing to, you know, go this way anymore. I want to change things up a little bit so yeah so yes pile one this is your message and i hope this reading resonated with you if it did you can subscribe to my channel and also if you want to get a personal reading you can find my email in the description box so drop me an email and i will reply you as soon as possible guys okay take care bye bye hello pile two welcome to your reading so let's find out if the person on your mind is going to contact you soon or not okay so let's see and this this thing like the, whoever you are thinking about should be someone related to your love life so there has to be feelings involved guys okay because this reading is specifically for love connections so let's find out for pile two, can you please show me, is their person going to contact them? Pile two. We have ace of swords. Okay, that's a good start, guys. We have six of swords. Let's have one more. And we have wheel of fortune. So let's clarify these cards. Can you please clarify the Ace of Swords for Pile 2? We have Queen of, Queen of Cups. Can you please clarify the Six of Swords? For this pile, guys, I feel like you might be living in different countries, different places, or different cities with this person, right? And yeah let's just clarify these and i will i will tell you what i'm seeing here guys can you please clarify the wheel of fortune okay and we have the fool and we have hanged men here so for this pile guys i feel like with these ace of swords and ace of pentacles i feel like this i feel like this is this is a yes but it is it's a bit like maybe so maybe 
we will clarify it with further cars but i feel like guys we have two aces here so this this card definitely shows that this person wants to talk to you okay and with this queen of cups queen of cups and the ace of swords i feel like this person wants to tell you how he really feels but he wants to tell you in a way that is not emotional right like he wants to express his emotions in a more rational and practical way but he still wants to be honest with you and i feel like whoever you are thinking about should be someone that like i said living in another city another place because i am sensing a there is a distance between you and this person and with this wheel of fortune and the fool maybe this person started a new journey in his life somewhere else in the world i don't know and you like as you can see here right like this is you this is you you're just thinking about this person maybe sitting here looking further like you're just thinking if this person is gonna call you and this person is like yes he has moved he has moved as you can see they are kind of opposite each other but he's still looking back right so i feel like this person probably moved to another place or decided to move on and start a new journey on his own but his mind is still with you his mind is still with you and he he wants to talk to you guys this person wants to talk to you so can you please show me like if this person is going to act on his um, feelings and call call pile two oops we have pain so for some of you guys i feel like because this person maybe he didn't tell you exactly how he feels he maybe because of that reason he kind of feels a bit sad like he he's having pain and we have reflection let's have one more card and for some of you, maybe the, maybe you also moved on from this person, guys. But you just want to know if th this is going to, if this person is going to call you or not. And we have sweetness here. So I feel like, guys. For this pile, I want to have a few more cards just to clarify a few things because I want to give you a clear answer, right? I don't want to leave things on limbo. So so can you please show me? Can you please tell me very clear is if their person is going to call them or not? We have Knight of Swords. Is their person going to contact them or not? We have Eight of Pentacles. Okay which is a work school card maybe this person moved to another place for school or maybe you met this person through school or when you were learning something together so it, are they going to call them but I'm, i feel like this is more positive guys let's see this card and we have the hierophant so <coughs> sorry because they have the knight of swords here which is very like action action motivated type of card so i feel like this person is going to call you and when he calls you maybe he's not going to tell you about how he feels first and i feel like this person could be very maybe business related work um work um work motivated maybe he likes to work a lot he likes to talk about money and finances and career maybe he's going to call you first and he's gonna tell you you know how is your school how is work how is everything and then i even feel like he might offer you something regarding work he might even tell you you know like there is an opportunity in the place that i work or maybe in the city that i work or, or i know this person would you like to take this offer because i think this person finds you really creative guys that's the reason but long story short definitely I kind of sense like he's going to call you so let's see for pile two is there a person going to call them pile two we have inspiration we 
we have financial health yes guys i feel like this person is going to call you for work or money or something and then he's going to um tell you <laughs> this, is, this this guy is so weird this is like you know like sneaky people not i don't want to say sneaky but like they don't really show what they feel first and then they kind of open up so this person is going to start talking to you about you know i think you also inspired this person a lot guys so i feel like with these eight of pentacles financial health and ace of pentacles i feel like this person is going to talk to you about work finances career he might even offer you a job or something and then he's going to be like you know what like actually maybe maybe we can work things out again because you might even be living in the same house with this person but doesn't have to be but i feel like this is someone who wants to have this with you who wants to have this home with you or maybe you meant home for this person and he he kind of wants to keep things a bit more traditional and even though you know maybe he's not showing his emotions this person is going to come to you very direct guys like when i say direct like i mean he, he's not here for you know dating having fun like he's gonna be like once he helped you with the finances and stuff or offer you some some work situation or school or whatever this thing is i feel like this person is gonna even tell you you know let's get married or something like in that sense he's gonna be very direct okay he's not gonna waste time this this is someone who moves very fast guys and i feel like this person could be an aquarius I know Aquarius is a bit commitment for me, but I'm just sensing that it could be Aquarius or an Earth sign or a Scorpio. Okay, so this was your reading pile too, and I hope it resonated with your situation. If it did, you can subscribe to my channel for more, and this way you can also say thank you, and I really um, appreciate your support, guys. And if you want to get a personal reading from me, you can find my email in the description box. So please drop me an email and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Okay? I love you guys and bye bye. Hello, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. So let's find out if the person on your mind is going to contact you soon or not. Okay? And like I said in the beginning, guys, this has to be a love connection so your crush your ex-partner there has to be feelings involved because yeah that's the type of thing i am checking for today so yeah let's see for pile three can you please show me is the person is going to contact them soon for pile three we have the queen of pentacles so can you please show me for pile three is there a person going to contact them we have six of pentacles lots of pentacles energy we have the lovers and we have ten of cups and the world here okay so let's see let's have some more cards so could you please clarify these queen of pentacles thank you we had this card on the i think on the first pile as well so can you please clarify these six of pentacles what is this about what is the six of pentacles is about we have nine of swords And we have nine of <coughs> sorry guys nine of cups and we have hierophant here we had these <coughs> hierophant cards on all piles today so i feel like most of us or maybe most of you kind of dealing with someone who is who you had a commitment with before or maybe a really long time long-term relationship or maybe you are even dealing with someone who is married okay so let me just tune into these cards for a second guys
so I'm gonna be honest guys I feel like for this pile is this person is going to contact you okay I feel like there's a there is a really potential that he might contact you but for some reason guys I feel like it for this pile I'm sensing more like a single energy and when I say this I feel like even though let's say this person kind of contacts you sometimes you always feel alone like I don't really see you um, being with anyone like I'm not saying you are alone and sad and ha unhappy I feel like this is someone like I'm talking about you you are someone who kind of has your stuff together and you don't really depend on anyone and this person I feel like this person Is there anyone involved in this connection, guys? But anyway, that is not the topic for today. So let me have a few more cards for this pile. But but I'm sensing like this person is going to call you, but it is more like he is going to... Um, I don't want to say that. Let me have some more cards to clarify. Is, is there a person going to call them for pile 3? We have the Emperor. This is someone who has a lot of authority, okay? And probably someone who is a bit more older. So is there a person going to contact them? Okay, so for this pile guys, I feel like this is a no yeah i feel like this is a no and the reason is that i feel like guys there has been such a long time after this connection maybe ended maybe you kind of both went on your own ways and i feel like even though maybe this person has you know feelings towards you in a way he kind of doesn't see those feelings right now and he is more focused on himself i think and I feel like whenever this person thinks about you, he thinks like, you know, you are very generous and maybe you have gift this person a lot of things. You have helped this person to grow um, in financially or career wise. <clears throat> whenever this person thinks about you, it feels like you helped him a lot and it kind of gives this person anxiety, right? And I'm sensing a bit like embarrassment from this pile. so maybe he kind of wants to talk to you but i feel like this person is embarrassed like maybe he kind of didn't give you what you deserve because you are this queen of pentacles and you also have you have this emperor card so is there a person going to contact them for pile three <laughs> and you might be from different backgrounds guys and we have abundance. Is there a person going to contact them for pile three? We have passion. And we have stop. So, no. Yes, this person is passionate about you. Yes, he he is in a way grateful for you but i feel like he's not going to call you guys because this guy is a bit bit embarrassed i don't know the reason you let me know but i feel like this person is embarrassed so let's have just a few more cards for pile three is there a person going to contact them for pile three We have two cards, but I will pick them up. We have commitment. We have new beginnings. So maybe you even had a, like I said, very long term connection with these person guys. And we have carrier. Yeah.
I feel like there is going to be another person that comes to your life and you might even have a new beginning in your career and yeah so I just want you to know that guy this person is a bit embarrassed okay that's how he feels and I feel like he might also have hurt you a lot in the past with these nine of swords and maybe he didn't even say sorry but you helped this person a lot so he kind of feels a bit sad and I feel like you don't even need this person to call you guys that's the energy that I'm picking up from you so I don't know why you're taking this reading I'm just joking but yeah I feel like you don't really feel desperate yeah you don't really feel desperate for this person to call you and i feel like in a way maybe this person kind of disrespected you guys and i feel like you are someone who knows your worth like you are this queen of pentacles you could be an earth sign and this person that you have been dealing with could be a scorpio aries or an air sign or even a water sign so any anything really so yeah this was your reading pile three and i hope it has resonated with your situation and if it did you can subscribe to my channel and say thank you so yeah and by the way if you want to get a personal reading from me you can find my email in the description box so please drop me an email and i will send you more information okay thank you so much for watching and i'm going to see you on another one bye bye